had our stuff sitting on the ground when we came up the first time. So there's a deer trail coming there. So I cleared this area out coming up through here. I didn't do a lot of clearing, but just made it easy walking. So the point is straight north of me now. And here's where there was a lot of big buckthorn. So there's the fence line right there. There's Pete's over there. We're kind of down in a low area. Cut up some buckthorn and put it along the fence there. And got this open area in through here. So we come up to the opening here. So there's the opening. That's the fence line and there's over to Pete's. Looking back, you got the buckthorn on the left there and a little opening. I'm hoping they'll come up through there. And then I got this, left this overhanging limb here. Right overhanging limb there and made a, cleared it out there. I did spread some oats and clover up here. I doubt it'll germinate, but give you an idea. So then this comes up. I didn't make a trail, but I walked up this way. There'll be an easy way to make a nice trail. That goes down and back over there. So here we're down here looking up. Had to leave one branch on there for me to annoy the heck out of you, but we shoot over that and see over that. I cleared it up up on top there so we can see back into Pete's to see if anything's walking there. So that's that. Raked all the big twigs off, tried to leave some leaves on the ground for some mulch. But got some openings, you know, there's the one there I showed. I cleared out some bigger buckthorn there. There's an opening. There's an opening down there. There's a little bit of an opening down there. It's super thick through there, but I didn't have the time or energy to finish that up. So there we are looking back into Pete's. Catch you later.